So right now, the federal minimum wage is $7.25 an hour, and it's been that way since 2009. But some congressional Democrats are pushing a plan to more than double that to $15 an hour by 2025. Now, a number of states, including Virginia, they've already raised the minimum wage on their own. And the Commonwealth, for example, is on a path to hit $15 an hour in 2026. So this proposed federal plan would get us there a year earlier. On Monday, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office took a look at this. They released a report showing the minimum wage hike would likely wipe out 1.5 million jobs across the country. On the other hand, the report also found it could bring nearly a million people out of poverty. The president of Virginia's Restaurant Lodging and Travel Association is concerned about what this measure could do to businesses. They're trying to get, you know, their feet under them. Um, you know, I think you're going to cut their legs out um, and, and you're going to see a lot more failures. I think in America, if you're working full time, you ought to be able to put food on your table and a roof over your head. And unfortunately, at 725, you can't do that. Now, that's Senator Mark Warner there from Virginia, and he's on board with that 15 an hour push. The proposal has been tied to a COVID relief package, but it's unclear if that is, in fact, how it will advance. Now, there's also a standalone Raise the Wage Act that's being discussed that would in addition to raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour, it would also get rid of tipped minimum wage. Currently tipped workers like waiters, waitresses, they can receive lower than the federal minimum wage on the idea that they can make up that difference through tips. So it'll be inter interesting to see what happens with that.